There are many theories attempting to explain the origins of the Great Sphinx, and indeed its original purpose. We have, in the past, covered the compelling theories regarding an ancient celestial alignment to the Great Sphinx. Most popular among these alternative theories concerning the star constellation Leo. However, this theory is not only based upon events which happened over two precessions ago, but is also reliant upon the Great Sphinx actually once being that of an enormous lion. And although lions are mentioned in countless religious texts, ancient and also modern, with these beasts attributed to good deeds or evil, there actually exists another, and we feel more compelling theory regarding the Sphinx's true identity, purpose, and indeed its age. Since its rediscovery among the sands of Egypt, the Sphinx has been attributed to that of a guardian, long said to have protected the dead, and interestingly, this explanation may turn out to have been spot on. The Sphinx, although now possessing a human head, its form is noticeably out of proportion. If one indeed perceives it as a past guardian of the dead, and the underworld in which they dwell, then the Sphinx would have been in fact a dog, or more specifically, Anubis. Additionally, if the Sphinx did once indeed face a star in our night skies, then logically, there would only be one of two stars in which the dog would face, both held in high regard for untold millennia, one of which of course being Sirius, the other known as the little dog star Procyon. Interestingly, the star Sirius is held in high regard by many ancient cultures, some which insist that we were once visited by gods, locating from this particular star constellation. And with ancient Egyptian art drenched in mysterious beings, all attributed as gods who came from the heavens, it could be postulated that the Sphinx was guarding the entrance to what they perceived as the underworld or the realm in which the gods came from. What supports this theory and the possible concealment of this knowledge is the apparent destruction, and now absence, of any identifiable dog-like sphinxes left anywhere on Earth. Anthony West once brought the water controversy theory into the public domain, a theory he has done extremely well from. This evidence has long been used as a form of evidence that the sphinx is much older than currently claimed, and due to the absence of this erosion on the Great Pyramids, also used it to claim it is much older. Additionally, he has also been a verbal advocate for the belief that the Sphinx was a lion. Worrying, however, regarding his motives, if this were indeed the case, then any compelling connections with the function of the Sphinx, the entrance beneath, and the pyramids, each made to specific sizes in relation to the distance of Orion stars, would be merely impossible to make. However, and what is most concerning, is that with a little research of ancient texts, it soon becomes apparent that the Sphinx was once surrounded by a body of water, conveniently named the Lake of the Jackal, or Anubis Lake. This aptly named body of water has seemingly been covered up, not only by West, but to attempt to conceal the Sphinx's real age, but also its true identity. This fragment of information not only discredits West's profitable rainfall theory, but also virtually confirms the Sphinx's past identity, and with Anubis being named elsewhere as the guardian of the underworld, it becomes apparent that we are on the brink of an explanation for its original purpose, no matter how astonishing.